Okay, so the program we're going to use today is National Instrument LabVIEW 2012. So there are older versions and there are newer versions, but uh, they're very typical. They look like this. So after you install the programs, you're going to have this uh, NI masks and you're going to have the National Instrument uh, LabVIEW uh, short links. Okay, um, so um, before uh, before we start it, we want to install some uh, 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 instrument uh, with that. So the instrument of today we're going to use uh, is this. So this is a, a Kisley uh, 2400 uh, SMU, and another one is a Kisley uh, 2635B SMU. So there's two SMUs. I already uh, downloaded the user user menus for them. So this is a 2400, and this is a uh, 2600. So um, this one is much a uh, newer one, so they have better uh, accuracies. But uh, for the source of dream measurement, this is very good. And for the uh, gate uh, measurements, we're going to use the uh, 2400, so it doesn't need that high uh, accuracies. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is install the drivers because we have several uh, instruments there. Uh, so we don't want to uh, program them one by one. So there is a very simple one. So you just go to this website, ni.com. Uh, slash ID net. You just click it, and then uh, they're going to open this uh, instrument driver network. So there is there is a bunch of uh, uh, drivers will be available. So you put here that's uh, 200 400. Uh, uh, so this is good. And it says go to the um, uh, driver page. Okay. So this is the driver page uh, over here. There is everything. There's a plug and play, and you just. Uh, 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 download driver and related to software. So we want to go to uh, here. So the download driver now, and we have, you open it, and uh, this is a Kisly uh, softwares. Okay, you want to copy all the files into the instrument driver uh, folders. So the instrument driver folder is located into your. Uh, Install file. So for my cases, I install my LabVIEW uh, in the uh, uh, driver D and National Instrument, and there's a LabVIEW 2012. And there is uh, here a instrument uh, library. So this is the instrument libraries. And now there is Angelant uh, uh, 2440 uh, and 1. So that one is installed. And we're going to copy. Okay, we're going to copy everything uh, related to here, to so like the Kisley one. So it's down here. Okay. So now we have installed the uh, 2400, and the next one we want to install the uh, 26, 26, uh, 35. So this will be very simple. You just uh, download this on the national instrument. There's another way to do that. That is, uh, instead of using the national instrument drivers, I can use the Keysley drivers, which can be downloaded in the Keysley website. So there is a, a product that downloads and the drivers. You can see there is a LabVIEW drivers over here. So sometimes this driver is better than the national instrument drivers. So here I'm going to use it, copy it to my folders. So after you install the software, we're going to talk about the hardware. So the hardware, we have two SMUs. One is a Kisley 2400 SMU. as another a Kisley 2635B SMU. So with that, we have a two connections. So the connection is the uh, USB to GPIB cable, and another is a GPIB to GPIB cable. So with these two cables on the back, you actually can see uh, there is a GPIB uh, connections for uh, both instrument, it's just a uh, hand over here. And we're going to connect it, these uh, uh, two cables over there. So the GPIB cable is sitting here, and the GPIB cable is connecting here, and you just uh, put it on. So there's not a matter where you put it. So you can, uh, because this is in series, so you can put in any kind of configurations on it. Okay, so you can put uh, up to 128 devices in series by connecting the two. Uh, to uh, connecting the GPIB cable on it. And the other side, we're going to use a USB, so we can just uh, plug in into your computer. All right, so uh, the installation of the drivers is finished. So now if you uh, turn on the instrument, allow the, the, turn on the lab view, you're going to see in the instrumentations, um, 
you can have the uh, installed instrument drivers we have uh, Angelant this is our original one and we have a two uh, 2400 and uh, uh, 2600 okay so that's fine okay so we have everything so the next thing we want to do is a create a project so this is going to create a blank project that's here okay so now we have opened two uh, folders okay so one is the uh, front panel one is a block diagram okay on the block diagrams so basically we want to uh, write down all the inter user interface so in this case it's pretty simple because we have a source string and gate so the drain is really just the, uh, uh, the ground so it doesn't have any uh, parameters so we have a source which is a scanning start scanning point and starting end and the gate will have the same result okay all the numbers over there and we want to show okay what is the number of that what is the limit of that current is going to be okay I want to get all everything down uh, like on the panels and I want to show what is the measurement result okay as the numbers so this is the indicators I put in there and on the gate I have the same things happens on the uh, panels and uh, on the, uh, uh, in there I'm going to have a voltage and current on the panels what is a graph over there I'm going to show what is the result is going to be right so this is all and I want to align them a little bit and then the user interface is pretty much done and could be uh, used for the uh, next step so on the back you can see all the information is already there okay and now um, the instrument is I can use some kind of uh, um, uh, examples because in the uh, examples you have okay this is what you have uh, learned or, or you have downloaded over there so this is things so what I have to do is basically copy and paste okay I'm going to copy whatever this uh, 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 driver unit into my uh, user interface okay into a block diagram so as you can see this is a 2400 uh, this is 2600 so it's having an initiation you have a setup you have some kind of a, a, a limit or everything so basically have a source game so everything what you need to do is basically copy okay whatever these uh, uh, example have you just copy it here but in this case because because we have only one channels so we just put in one channels and uh, sometimes we have for example here this is a gate and we ho only have the gate over there okay so once this uh, first frame is done I'm adding a second frame okay the second frame is about uh, 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 writing okay is about runnings the second frame is about runnings I want to have a start point so basically I want to like have the program uh, hold over there so I want to like, let them like uh, uh, going uh, over and over again uh, before I actually have uh, hit this stop or hit this start uh, scanning uh, a bottom so once I, uh, I get it started so nothing is going to uh, happen or, or nothing is going to really run okay so in this case um, this is all I, I need to do to have this so again so this is where the uh, example unit is okay it's again it becomes a copy and paste I copy all the things and link uh, the uh, corresponding lines together so now in this case is a voltage okay and what is the limit of that voltage okay and then again you're going to have this uh, 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 output on so I'm going to turn on the machine and uh, then I want to put in uh, some kind of numbers over there or what kind of uh, um, uh, set point on that so what is the voltage I'm going to do because this is needs to be uh, uh, going uh, as a cycle so I'm going to use a for loop over here so this is a for loop okay in the for loop so the first point is my starting voltage point and then it's going to be uh, increased step by step by whatever the step is going to be right so this is the number of points I have them uh, in and I can calculate what is a step between them okay so for each steps because this is n minus one uh, uh, like uh, intervals so the step is uh, this size okay I have the starting point and end point all right so the next thing I want to start the measurement again it's going to be adding the uh, information as a configured uh, uh, point so in this case it's going to be the um, measuring the uh, uh, configure measuring source unit uh, settings okay 
So there is many things you can uh, explore, but basically uh, they, they are there. They have uh, many uh, duplications. But uh, again, so you can uh, the simplest way is just copy whatever the um, the example uh, uh, files have. So basically, you are going to uh, load everything here. So in this case, uh, I forgot to uh, put down whatever the starting point because what I want to do is uh, let's say I want to start it with. Uh, 100 volts so I want to uh, make sure I have this 100 volts on it already okay so I, I link everything together okay and the starting point and have the voltage uh, connected on it okay and the levels the first level is the starting point levels okay and uh, it's going to uh, continue running and uh, replacing it so now, in this case, I want to put a little bit of delay or time delay on it because uh, after the, um, uh, the bias, uh, maybe wait a little bit time so the uh, measurement is more accurate because it's necessary. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's not. Okay, again, then I start to copy the reading uh, uh, data. So, okay, so again, I'm going to read the IV. So I'm going to read the current and the voltage together. Okay. So uh, this one uh, is a little bit tricky because uh, the, the, the drivers is actually giving you is a rating as a text file. So I want to convert that text file into a number. So this is a require some kind of string. So this is the only part actually needs some kind of programming. Okay. So but before that, we just copy everything that is needed to uh, be in the positions. Okay. You just copy everything that is uh, uh, in the example files. Okay, and uh, connected, but basically the four. So basically, this part is a closing. So this is outside the range. Okay, now I want to um, convert the string into a numbers because in this case it actually have a two numbers. One is a current, another is voltage. Right. So I'm going to save all of these data later. So uh, in order to do that, I want to uh, search because the, the the format you can see uh, later on is actually a uh, current. And have a comma and then a, a voltage. So basically, I want to uh, uh, search for that comma and then convert them into a uh, uh, split that uh, string into two files. Okay, into two strings. Okay, one is uh, so this is the comma, and then I'm going to have the uh, splitted one and convert that numbers in uh, that string into a numbers. So uh, the numbers, okay, needs to be uh, converted or, 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 or fit into the uh, uh, source uh, current, and then the rest of them is uh, uh, going to be the voltage. So I, I want to convert that one into voltage again. So in order to convert it, I firstly uh, needs to uh, uh, delete. There is a comma, so I want to remove the comma uh, with a uh, empty. Uh, with an empty space, uh, empty uh, string. Okay, find that comma and re replace with empty, and then uh, the uh, numbers. Okay, convert it again. The string convert it to numbers. So now I will have the uh, source and drain current out of that. Okay, and now uh, this is where the uh, current is really is. Okay. Fine, uh, we can uh, take a look of uh, this guy. So we can connect it what is a, a voltage into X and uh, Y, uh, a current into Y. So the next thing is uh, going to be simple. I want to uh, connect it, let them uh, shift it. So every time it's actually going around, this, uh, uh, this loop is going to be added by the number of intervals. And then I'm going to connect it to the uh, the end point, which is the, the tunneling, okay, through the uh, point of where the uh, register point is going through, okay. And then I could save uh, this one, okay, a little bit. And the next thing I want to do is uh, uh, copy uh, there, there, there. Uh, just showing the result, okay. So where is this uh, x, y axis? So where is uh, uh, X and Y, I fit the X uh, uh, as the voltage and Y. The next thing I want to do is uh, just copy all the things as the uh, 2400 SMU is going in here as a gate. So everything here is again just copy whatever this happened 
in the example samples, example files, and just copy everything. So they have an initiation, they have some kind of measurement, they have a configure. So everything is exactly the same as 2600, uh, 2600 uh, but it's just like a, uh, have a different language. But here you don't see the language, you just see the, 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 the drivers. Again, so like it's going to run a for loop. Okay, so what is the starting point, end point, as intervals can be calculated simply by dragging this uh, uh, equations here. So uh, I'm going to do pretty much the same ways as I did. So it's a for loop and the number of points is actually connected and what is the intervals is the, uh, is the distance between a separation between the start and end and uh, minus one and uh, divided by the minus one of the number of points. So then I'm getting the, all the um, information need and then I'm going to do the measurement Okay, so with uh, and turn on the starting point. Okay, so this is a, uh, a bias the SMU with certain numbers, and then I'm going to uh, turn this thing on and uh, using a turn on voltage, uh, turn on uh, equipment. Uh, okay, so um, this is a limiting current. I'm going to set it. Okay, and uh, where the setting is, okay, I just connect it here. Okay, output and uh, input, and then connected the um, the turn on. So basically, I'm going to turn on the uh, uh, SMU, and then uh, register it uh, with the bias it towards certain numbers. Okay, the good thing about the uh, 2400 is uh, it's actually even simpler. The uh, the measurement is actually simpler. So again, so I'm going to step through. Uh, the uh, point uh, of the voltage. Okay, so every time it's like going through the loop, it's going to do it. And this uh, readings, okay, this readings is the uh, reading point of the single point. Okay, I'm going to connect it. Uh, the reading a single uh, measurement point, and uh, again, this is because it's actually going through the loop, I need to register it to the last point. Okay, so finally, the, this is uh, the, the, the program actually I, I programmed. So eventually it's uh, having the initiation points, okay, initiation of the 2600, initiation of the 2400, and then it's going to be waiting for my uh, hold, or, or, uh, waiting for my stop point, a start, and then it's going to be uh, scanning through different kind of gates, and then in, into the gate loop, it's going to scanning for different kind of uh, 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 source and drain voltage. Okay, so after that, it's going to be uh, over here, and it's going to be output into the showing uh, graph, and then eventually uh, these things is going to be saved to a file. Okay, I bundle everything and saved into the file. So I actually change it a little bit, so it actually becomes this kind of registered as starting with a with, with a blank red uh, blank array, and this array is going to be appended onto different kind of uh, 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 data was added one by one into the array and eventually I can save it and as you can see over here uh, This thing is a little bit uh, messy up here. It's a, although it's fine, but uh, in order to uh, do uh, Clean it up. I just click over here clean up diagram. Okay. I click it. So uh, Everything is uh, sorted a little bit sometimes like some people like it some people don't but like uh, I think it's fine So it's like this and it's a little bit long, so I want to uh, uh, make sure I could uh, change this one, okay, replace with a stacked sequence, so it becomes a two layer of the sequence, okay. And then I could uh, register it again, okay. And uh, it's something like uh, this, so it's have a two pages, okay, have a two pages, so it's something like this. All right. Um, It would uh, run it uh, relatively fine. Okay, I can save uh, as. So basically, I want to uh, substitute the copy, uh, substitute the copy, and create an uncopy disk. Okay, so then that means I could have a FET and uh, let's say a version 0.1 or something. Like that. Okay, then this thing is going to be copied and uh, pasted onto the. Uh, uh, website, okay, for you to learn about this one. Okay, thank you.